All right, so we are now recording. Um, so, looks like you have a sellout tomorrow. Are you excited to play in front of 18,500 fans here in Philadelphia? Yeah, the support that we've received recently, uh, pretty much ever since the World Cup, has just been overwhelming. Um, obviously, uh, to sell out this incredible stadium here in Philly is awesome. So, we love that, um, you know, the women's game is growing, and uh, I think there's a lot to be proud of in that way. Now obviously you've signed to be a Boston Breaker for the 2012 season. I heard you're pretty good friends with Leslie yeah. uh, up in Boston. So are you looking for, are you going to be able to play any games with the Breakers this season do you think? Or? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, we're looking at a couple games in June that um, I'll be back in Boston for. So I've just loved being with the, the Breakers. It's an incredible organization. Um, you know, even though it's it's not a WPS team this season, they've been nothing but uh, professional, and it's been an incredible training environment for me. Uh, it's been a lot of fun for me to follow all their games and to uh, cheer on uh, my teammates and Leslie and, and Kat Whitehill and I. Um, we've been playing together, you know, for years, and to have Christine Lilly as our coach is so much fun. Um, so I've just had a blast with with the team and with the staff. So you think they're going to pull out a win tonight to retain sole first place? I think so. I haven't been able to see uh, their their recent games, but their results have been strong, and they seem confident and, and excited uh, going forward into this game against the Flash. So I think they're feeling good. All right, and. Um you know, I talked actually with Leslie after the, the first home game for about five minutes about the future of the league and, you know, maybe trying to get everyone into a room. But, you know, obviously the fan interest is there. So would you maybe have any anything to say to the fans who, who are willing to, you know, put the footwork in to, to build a league right. again in the U.S.? I mean, I just think, you know, keep backing us, keep supporting us. I mean, we love it. We, we love women's professional soccer and believe in it. And I'm so thankful for the fans that do as well. Um, I think it's just about figuring out the best system and the best model and we have all the faith in the world that there is place for women's soccer in our country. So keep backing us, keep on social media, um, you know, keep, keep watching, keep following, um, you know, without you that, uh, that foundation wouldn't be there and uh, I think that, you know, that foundation is so strong now. So. We're only going up and... Speaking of Twitter, you guys always have, seem to have a lot of fun sort of harassing each other and there was a lot of stuff coming out of camp. Yeah. You know, Sid LaRue in a, in a hot dog outfit. <laughs> yeah, Twitter's awesome. I mean, we have a lot of fun with it. Some of the girls are, you know, tweeting every day. Some, you know, not as much. But, like, you know, it's a great way to, re to reach out to our fans, for our fans to get to know us. Um, it's fun for us to sort of bounce off each other in that, you know, realm. So, uh, yeah, Twitter's awesome. It's been fun. But you know what? In today's world, that's where, um, you know, the support is coming from. And uh, I just say keep it, keep it coming. So we've got a whole bunch of players with some pretty great nicknames on the team. We've got Alex Morgan, Baby Horse. Mm -hmm. You're Hale. we got Ash. You know, a lot, of, a lot of short names. But what do you think your favorite nickname is? <sighs> Baby Horse is pretty good. Um, that's a that's a pretty fun one. Anybody that's seen Alex Morgan play might be able to figure out where Baby Horse came from. Uh, but uh, I think my favorite nickname is Lori Lindsay's self-imposed nickname of Lightning. I think it makes her feel a little bit faster. Lori, the Lightning, Lindsay, awesome.